folks, I'm Steve Safaro, and I am really happy to be here with Gerald Becker of Quantergy. So this is, uh, you know, we've, we've done recordings in the past, but this is the first time that we've got a live demo, plus some amazing zones here. We can get a, uh, amazing displays here. We can get a close-up of. Gerald is the VP of Market Development and Alliances. Basically, he kind of knows everything that's going on about LiDAR and why you should buy it instead of legacy perimeter protection systems. So, Gerald, do you want to take it from here? And Absolutely. Tell us what's going on. Steve, thanks for having me on. So, here at GSX 2022, we're showcasing quite a few different technologies here. Primarily, our M8 sensor and our new M1 sensor, which is mounted over here. But what these sensors provide is accuracy, lower total cost of ownership, like never been seen before with other legacy technologies. And so what you're seeing here behind is quite a few different things uh, regarding our sensor integration. So first and foremost, we have a top-down view of our perception software analyzing the booth as we got people walking in around. Once again, this is a 3D visualization. It's a representation of everything that's going on here at the booth. There's a lot of meetings going on here behind us. We can get a close-up of that. Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's move a little bit over. So this is exactly the booth right here. So as you can see, I can tilt this, I can move it around. You can see this is the booth in 3D. We're seeing everything in every single person, down to the centimeter, coming in and out of the booth, going specifically into event zones. And what you see there on the left-hand side is actually an alarm event being pumped directly into the wave system from Hanwha. So we've got a deep integration with quite a few VMSs. What you're seeing here is our integration with Hanwha Wave. Oh yeah. So to the right over here, you're going to see one of our newest technologies, which is our M1 Edge PoE device, which is this guy over here. This guy is actually meant for virtual curtains, virtual walls, if you will. So as you can see, the screen right here, when I breach the screen right here, I'm breaking the beam. So as you can see, this is great for data centers, for virtual walls and stuff like that. When you need to detect an object as it basically breaches a virtual zone, say data center cabinets, say uh, museums, say virtual scenes in, in that regard, when you want to breach an environment, this is a great sensor to deploy for that type of application. So what am I seeing on the bottom of the screen here? Yeah, so I'm back there just a little the, bit. Yeah. And then this sensor is casting a virtual wall right here. So wow. when I breach that wall, it automatically detects that breach in that zone. So I enter, I exit, I enter, I exit. That alarm event is being pumped in directly into the VMS to get so a that visualization red zone, of an intrusion. That, that goes from blue from to blue red. From blue to red. Wow, instant. Yep. <laughs> That's one of our latest sensors we're deploying here in the security market, M1 Edge PoE. And then obviously, the creme of the creme, which is our M8 PoE sensor. This is our 3D sensor that sees in 3D, basically stack the laser, spinning really fast, shooting laser in a full 360 degree motion, Tell giving us a wide 3D. range. Not everybody understands the huge ramifications and huge cost savings yes. of 3D. Most LiDAR is spinning, right? Yes. And it's spinning in, uh, it has to uh, spin in multiple directions or see multiple directions. Tell us why 3 d So 3D is very important when you start to look at the lay of the land. 2D, as you commonly see with cameras, cameras are, are limited to the optics. They can only see what's in front of the camera. You can't see the sides, the top, to the bottom, or behind. But with these sensors, you get depth perception. We do volumetric sensing so that we can actually see in every angle, in every which way. You can spin the environment around and be able to see on both sides of walls if you got multiple sensors fused together. But you can actually understand the environment versus a 2D image that you can only see what's in front of you. So this lowers your cost and lowers the cost of you see so much more with these sensors. You don't sensors. get false alarms with the, you don't, you get, you don't get false alarms with LiDAR, you get false alarms with the perimeter spatial perimeter detection. Our, our solution exponentially decreases the, the amount of false alarms that come in to actually give you the right alarms that you're looking for when it's needed, when it's required, right? So I have a question for you. Yes. Why aren't, why isn't this being specified, which it should be, for every single perimeter environment? And you know, the consulting engineers seem to be still holding on to legacy light beams. Yes. It's, 
I just, I find it incredible because this couldn't be much more, and you've got full integration into everybody else's lives. Yeah, it's a good point. So we're starting to see a break in, in, in that mold as far as the specification for these sensors, and we're seeing more and more, a lot of consultants are working with us. But just the, just the integration alone, with all of the video management systems, it virtually eliminates extra time having to do forensics or systems. Absolutely. And what if uh, the time goes for these disparate systems? We've got integration to all major VMS platforms out there and we're working with quite a few new ones and behind the scenes to integrate our sensors. We do consider ourselves the market leader for 3D LiDAR in the security space right now. The, the installation cost is going to be uh, much less also. That's because we don't have a maintenance requirement. We put electric sensors, uh, yeah. verification with uh, conventional delays type of shirt. So uh, we really use the two sensors right? here Correct. Because you're using the time. Absolutely. So what's the uh, so it's ju it's just like a camera, right? So it connects via PoE, PoE Plus, starts spinning up the sensor, got standard Visa directly into it, so you can mount to a lot of traditional uh, mounts that are available for CCTV cameras, surveillance cameras that are out there. You're typically pole mounted, ceiling mounted, down to a special mount. So. There's all kinds of different ways that the sensor can be deployed depending on the environment that we're going into. So as I see it, instead of doing an AI update on the camera itself, which might be questionable whether the camera can handle the analytics, why not just add this? Uh, there's pros and cons to all solutions. We do see that there's a lot of applicability with our sensors to add to an existing application that may have a lot of cameras. So one thing to, to clearly distinguish here, we don't see like cameras do. So we don't capture any personal identifiable information, no PII. But in that regard, we do offer centimeter accuracy to track an individual, an object that intrudes or breaches a zone within the field of view. Now when we do that, we then tell the camera to zone in and start tracking that person in the field of view. So then we marry and complement existing deployments to be able to provide best of breed in both scenarios. Absolutely. So you've got a lot of versatility within our perception software Cortex to create exclusion zones, inclusion zones, and event zones. An exclusion zone basically means I don't want to see along the fence line where there's trees moving side to side or tumbleweeds going in and out or animals coming up the fence line. So you can exclude all that noise. You can also create inclusion zones, which means include everything in this box and inside that inclusion box, I want to event on these different zones. It could be a substation, it could be the data center racks, whatever it may be. That could then create the real-time alerts and eliminate all those nuisance alarms within the system so that you only get alerted on what matters. What What's important? The actual alarms coming into the system. Absolutely. So you can set up any type of configuration, any type of 3D hexagonal shape that can be created. You can stack them on top of each other. You can create any type of 3D shape to basically alarm within your system. Okay. So, I could alert on a semi-tractor trailer, but not on a vehicle. Yeah, so I know all about this. Okay. We do several classifications. We do humans, people, and unclassified. I'm sorry, humans and people. Humans and vehicles and unclassified objects. We can do also subclassifications of vehicles as well for different types of vehicles coming in the field of view. <laughs> we do that a lot in Europe where we're actually traffic enforcement along the highways. We're actually tracking vehicle speed and enforcing down to the stair. So our biggest market is PID. So perimeter intrusion detection by far is our best market right now. So anything involved to track the perimeter side or anything around the perimeter of a property is probably the best application out of the gate. But we're seeing a lot more 
with consumer engagement applications, the analytics side, right? So understanding where the customers are going, right? where, are they, where are they dwelling, what's the path, what's the journey they take, heat maps and stuff like that. So we're doing a lot of those type of scenarios as well. So energy facilities, so protecting uh, energy facilities, uh, facilities that store precious metals, things like that, that's going to be extremely important. Yes. Obviously, anything that's, uh, that you would normally use like a very coax or an electric fence or something like that, you're you're doing the deployment very, very quickly. Absolutely. So once again, it's just like a camera when you're deploying this and once you've got it tuned to the system, I mean it's pretty it's pretty quickly to get the system up and running. Let's close with this. This is actually a very, very colorful display here. And uh, we haven't seen this. So we're looking at Yeah, so this is one of our partners. I'll introduce David. David King is uh, from Advances. Okay, so I guess hey, how you doing? So this is a this is a Advances Wingard, and we have an open platform whereby we integrate different IoT devices across this. We feel lidar is a next generation in terms of PIDs and intrusion, and in the SOC and the command and control, that's a big big thing for us in Europe. GDPR is very important, so that removing that identification, but we we still need the alerts. So lidar becomes that really important. Um, that's Integra wonderful. Integrated device, yeah. So how do we uh, get in touch with you? Uh, yeah, so we can be found real easily if you go to LinkedIn, search up Quantergy. You can find me, Gerald Becker. Uh, I do uh, global alliances and market development for the organization. You can find me on Twitter as well. Um, thanks a lot for coming by. I appreciate it. Gerald, thank you so much.